Hello, welcome in gems. Today we are going to be talking about what is happening to my arm. Today we are going to be going over the pros and cons for 3 teen VC face, and V-up. When should you use what program? Why should you use what program? What program is the best for you? We're going to answer all those questions in this video, so please stick around until the end so you can figure out which one is going to be the best for you. All right, without further ado, let's get started. What is happening to my chair, bro? I don't understand. Hello. Uh, yes, I changed outfits. This is an outfit actually a member in the community named Critzel made for me. Super duper thankful. I'll link her channel down below. She's been doing a lot of different stuff on booths and different cute outfits if you are interested. Also, I did switch mics. Well, no, I didn't switch mics. I just improved this mic. And uh, yeah, so if I sound different, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not re recording the beginning. This is what you get. Whee! All right, let's go. Okay, so first we're going to go over VC face. What are the pros? What are the cons? Why should you choose VC face if this is an option you're going to want to choose for your VTuber? You know, is this, are you going to choose this over 3Teen or V up or when would you use it? All right, so first let's hop into the first pro. So the first pro for VC face is that it's really good for toaster PCs. If your PC cannot handle a lot or if you have a laptop or something that just cannot do it, the best choice for you is going to be VC face. So just hopping over into VC face really quickly. And again, I'll drop this important links if this is an option you choose. So right here in the tracking quality, there is quite literally a toaster, no eye gaze expression tracking. So if your PC is not really good, but you can make a model and you still want to start being a VTuber, this is the option to go with VC face. You're going to want to make sure you go to that tracking quality and go with the toaster. You could also try low quality, mess around and see what works best for your PC. Okay, let's talk about the next pro for VC face. The next pro for VC face is that it offers so many different lighting options, which is just so nice. And I haven't really found this in any other programs, but VC face does a really, really good job of just giving you lighting options. Let me show you what that looks like. So this is going to be tweaking for a few moments because again, your camera can, your webcam can only track one thing at once. So it's using 13 right now. But anyways, I'll show you. So in the effect settings, there's so many different colors here and color options and different things that you can do. I honestly have not seen this in really like anything else besides like it's in V up. There's a little bit of it in 13. It's in V up. But again, we'll we'll go over that later. But you have a lot of options. You even have things that you can't get in other programs like this half tone in the screen. It's being kind of wonky right now because I am not tracking with this right now. But again, it just there's a lot of options here. You have blue, maybe an occlusion lint. There's pretty much everything. And again, V up has this a little bit too. 13 does not. So keep that in mind when you are choosing programs. Next on the list is it's honestly overall just really great for beginners. I think VC face is a really good thing to choose regardless when you're getting started. If you don't know a lot about the extra tech side of things, VC face will set you up pretty nicely. And lastly, the VC face tracking is pretty good. I really like the VC face tracking because it tracks your eyebrows. It does all that good stuff. It tracks your blinking well. Again, 13 is not great at this. V up does do it as well, but I still think VC face has the best face tracking that you could get. All right, now let's move into the cons for VC face. The first con for VC face is that you can't get full body in VC face. You can get leap motion, I am quite sure, but having your full, full body with animations and such, I don't see that as a possibility in VC face as far as what I've messed around with. So if you're thinking of ever going full body, you will have to move on from VC face. Second, the movement feels really awkward. I don't know if anybody else has felt this way that uses VC face, but honestly, it just moves weird. Like the way your body moves when you tilt your head and stuff. I've never been a big fan of the VC face movement. It just feels really awkward. Lastly, as you saw earlier, the UI in VC face is kind of gross, kind of ugly. I have a background in graphic design so I'm not a huge fan of how the UI looks on VC face. I don't think it's very user friendly at all. I did say VC face was great for beginners. It is in a lot of ways, but in the UI ways, there are definitely programs that are doing much better. Like V up, I think has a lot better UI. And I also think 13 has better UI. VC faces UI actually looks like you're running an old toaster PC, which is maybe why it has a toaster PC option. All right, well, next let's move in to everything about the pros and cons for 13. Okay. Okay, so the first pro about 3 teen is the animations and effects tab. I've used this 
plenty when I use 13. As you can see right here, I can make bubbles come out. I can use animations. I have this all hooked up to my stream deck. If you're interested in how to do that, I have a tutorial. I'll put a card up above for you to go to that if you want to figure out how to use 13 and link up your stream deck. So it's as simple as clicking a hotkey to get your animations going. But that's the beautiful part about 13. That's why I use 13 while streaming. I much prefer having animations over having really great face tracking with VC face. So that's a really great pro about 13. The next great thing about 13 is that it supports full body. They actually literally just came out with a whole system for 13 supporting full body. Of course, it probably costs like a thousand billion dollars, but uh, I will show you guys a little bit about it and a little bit of my research and findings. So one of the 13 pages that you can go to is this one that gives you the option of all these different like 13s. And this is a 13 studio. There's pro. There's a lot of different things you can do here depending on what you want to do. For 13 studio, there's this thing that came out called Perception Neuron. I don't even know if you can actually order this right now. I have no idea. I was starting to look into it and maybe I'll make a separate video on it, but it's just weird. So it's this whole thing in Perception Neuron and 13 supports this whole full body tracking thing. And again, I don't know if this is even for sale yet. I haven't dove super far into it, but if you're interested in it, I mean, go ahead and check out. I'll leave this link down below the 13 studio. It's different than the original 13 link. It's super duper interesting though. I've clicked on this video here and it shows that you could also be in, be in there with multiple people. Again, this is, I have no idea. I haven't looked too much into it, but it does support full body, but you will probably have to buy these add-ons of perception neuron pro. And again, I'm, I'm not super adept in it. I'm not sure, but there's a little bit of information if that's something you're interested in. And that could be definitely a big pro to 13. Lastly, 13 has really nice UI. I love the 13 UI. And again, for those who don't know, UI is UI stands for user interface. It's easy to navigate. It's the buttons, it's the icons, it's the things that help you figure out what to do. Here's the UI. I just really, I think everything's very navigatable and just very nice. You have different sections. VC face just looks terrible. 13 has definitely made an improvement UI wise yeah so it's pretty much just the different icons and things you click to make you understand what's going on or it's it's a system of communication essentially but 13's ui is really great really smooth super duper clean next is cons so you have to be in the window of 13 to make your animations work that is really really sucky when i first got 13 i was so hype about the animations but then i was like dude how am i going to be in the window and playing a game at the same time and show off my animations luckily i found a way to solve that problem again that is is to my stream deck if you have a stream deck that is the way to solve this problem so i'll link a link to my stream deck as well as again the video that can help you is set that up stream decks are pretty expensive unfortunately so if you have a budget again maybe vc face is the option not 13. and second the quality is kind of weird in 13. sometimes there's this really awkward or weird outline actually somebody sent me a difference between what it looked like between vc face and 13 and vc face looks a little bit cleaner character wise anyways those are the pros and cons for 13. Next, let's move over into VUP, the pros and cons for VUP. And lastly, at the end of the video, we're going to go over which one is going to be the best depending on your specific situation. So stick around if you want to know which program you should use when you're getting started being a VTuber. So for VUP, we're mostly going to stay in the program VUP itself to talk about the pros and the cons. And at the end, I will show you the list side by side so you can see and look over that once more if you want to screenshot it or take a look at it. So the first pro is that you have poses. Poses are so nice. I like to use this section for making poses for my YouTube thumbnails. This is really great. So I can, you can pose your character and move the character around to be in a specific position that you want them to be in. Again, this is so good for making YouTube thumbnails. So if you're thinking of being a VTuber and you want to be able to pose your character for thumbnails, this is a great place. And it is super powerful when combined with face expressions that you set up. So here is an example. Let's actually not use that one because my eyes messed up. There we go. We got a pose plus a face expression. I take a screen shot and then I use this for my YouTube thumbnail. If you're interested in learning more about VUP, I have a full tutorial I literally just released. I will drop a card up above for that as well. This program also has more animations. It has more animations than 13 as we went over earlier. VC Face does not have animations. 13 does. This program has even more animations that are in here that will work with your character, which is a huge pro. You get a super nice movie quality look when combined with scenes 
and lighting, you can get a very high quality movie look with your VTuber. You combine this, you go into the lighting section in here as well with light settings. You turn a few of these settings on and look already how realistic this is looking compared to the bottom right corner where I'm using 3Teen or VC Face. Again, you have those lighting settings, but V Up is going to have the best lighting settings and movie realistic quality. Again, it's also great for YouTube. I love this program for YouTube. I think it offers a lot of potential. I use full body in Unity now, as you guys have been seeing at the beginning of my videos. But if you do not have that luxury, this is great for making your two videos because you can go over into the camera section and you can record different sections of the video to make it feel very cinematic and like you are actually there and actually are your VTuber if you do not have full body. You can also upload custom backgrounds. I think you can do this in 13 as well. I, again, I haven't messed with it too much, but you can upload your own custom scenes and backgrounds in it to here. So again, uploader, you can add your own. Super duper nice. Can't do this in other places. Maybe 3Teen and definitely not VC face. For the cons, there's a lot of weird bugs where things just don't work well. The hotkey system is honestly not great. It's super glitchy. You can set things up to hotkeys, but it really doesn't work that great all the time. And it can get super duper annoying. V up is just overall really annoying sometimes because things don't work out perfectly. Again, this is why I like using V up for my YouTube videos. And hopping over back to one last pro, the devs are super duper active. There's also a VUP Discord that I will drop below. It's a public Discord where you can ask questions and the devs are in there and it seems like they've been very active. I heard that before there wasn't, VUP was not great, but they recently added a huge update that made it a lot better. So if the devs are active, that's good because honestly, it's been a lot of months and I don't see a lot happening with VC face. Things might have been happening with 3 Teen because as we went over, 3 Teen supports full body. I don't know how new that feature actually is, but VUP is definitely being updated. The devs are active and you can actually talk to them in their discord about adding certain things that you want them to add into VUP. So again, this is just such a good pro because having access to the devs and them actually listening to you is a huge bonus for creators. One last thing I forgot to actually mention is that we also have the potential for full body support. There's a lot of different options here for different kinds of full body support. I don't have all these different things. I haven't messed with it a lot, but again, big plus because VC face does not have this three team does. We got to buy all that extra stuff. But if you have any of these things right here, you potentially get it to work with V up. So here is the list of pros and cons that I wrote out for you. So you can see them side by side again, V up super duper strong program, annoying things, but hopefully it'll be worked on. Hopefully the devs will make it better. Fingers are crossed. So in final conclusions, this is when you would want to use blank program for blank situation. VC face, use it if you're new, you don't know a lot about the tech end of stuff and also use it if your PC is kind of garbage. 13, 13 you would want to use for streaming probably. I like to use 13 for streaming over at Twitch. By the way, if you want to catch me live, you can find me over at twitch.tv forward slash sapphire. I'm going to leave that link below as well. So you could use 13 for Twitch. That's what I like to do. Link it up to your stream deck. That works out super duper well. And lastly, use V up for YouTube videos. I could see myself using V up on Twitch in the future if the devs update it and it gets better. But right now I'm going to use 13 live on Twitch because I have a lot more control. And for YouTube videos, since I can sort of work around edits in the background, I will be using V up and also using V up for thumbnails and for other things that nature poses for different pictures you might want to post on any sort of social media, maybe Twitter, TikTok, whatever. If you have more edit, more control, you would use V up. VC face for beginners, bad PCs, 13 for streaming the upper YouTube. That's what I'm going with right now. I'm sure it'll change in the future, but hopefully that will help get you some answers. Again, if you have any questions, please leave something down in the comments. If you're also interested in building a VTuber from scratch and you don't really know how I'm working on a Skillshare course right now, so go ahead and click that subscribe button and I'll be putting out an announcement in the community section. Once I get the Skillshare course out, there's going to be homework assignments and everything. It's going to be great. It's going to be a ton of fun. Also, if you want to join a Discord community with a ton of VTubers and artists all alike, go ahead and join our Discord. That link will also be down below. Thank you guys so much and I will see you next time in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.